So in this lesson, what we're going to talk about is using our different types of shapes. Um, the shape tool is a tool that Photoshop has that allows you to create a variety of different shapes in your graphic. So your shape tool is actually in the third section here, um, down towards the bottom, directly above your hand tool. Um, it will start with a rectangle um, tool. And if you click and hold down, you're going to see that you have a variety of shapes. So you actually have a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, an ellipse, a polygon, a line, and then our custom shapes. So I'm just going to start with a rectangle tool um, and just show you how it works. It's very simple. Um, there's two ways that you can make shapes. So you can click and draw to make a rectangle. Um, you can also uh, hold your shift key down and it will, of course, make a perfect square. And you can simply click one time and it will ask you what exactly are the measurements that you would like to create a rectangle. So you could say one inch by 1.5 inch and click OK. So um, there are those are the ways that you can use your shape tool. Um, one thing to keep in mind is I'm going to delete both of these just to go back to show you a few things. Um, up on the options bar, you have the option to choose your fill. If you don't choose your fill right away here, it's going to use whatever you have defaulted as your foreground color. So if you had white or black or whatever the last color is that you used, that's going to be the color that is chosen um, for your color for your shape. You can also right away set a stroke if you wish to. Um, so the stroke color would just be the um, line that goes around your shape. And you can also set the width of it as well as what you want that stroke to look like. So those are all options for you to choose. Just to show you, we can set our fill to a different color. I'll just do a bright pink to have something different. And I'll choose a white stroke. And we'll do the little dashes. And then I just come out here and draw my shape. And there you can see well, that it has the added stroke already. So um, that's one way for you to add shapes. Um, let's take a little look at a few of the other options. So if you click and hold down, you'll see the rounded rectangle. All the rounded rectangle does is gives you a rounded corner edge instead of having a nice square edge. So some people prefer the rounded edge. It just depends on the overall look that you're going for with your graphic. Um, we also have the ellipse. So of course you can make ovals or if you want you can hold your shift key down and make a perfect circle. Um, the other thing to remember is if, I'm going to just delete this, if you if you don't hold your shift key down, every time that you make a new shape, it's going to make a new layer. You see that? I've now done that three times. I didn't hold my shift key down, and I got a new layer every time. Um, when you hold your shift key down, not only does it make you a perfect circle, but what it's also doing is adding another shape to that layer. Do you see how I get the plus sign on my mouse? So be mindful of that because if you want your shapes to be independent of each other, then you would want to make a brand new layer, hold your shift key down, and make a perfect circle on that new layer. So that's just one little um, like finicky thing that Photoshop does that I'm not a super fan of um, because a lot of times what I would want to do is I'd make my different shapes and I'd want to make sure that they are independent of each other so that I can move them around where I need them to go. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. And the last thing, the last other tool I want to show you here, um, the polygon. So with the polygon, the only thing that changes up here is that you can change the number of sides. So you can go down, obviously, to, oh my goodness, what did I do? Hit my delete key. I better go back here. There we go. Thank goodness for our handy dandy history panel. 
Um, so you can change the sides up here. So like if you wanted to make a triangle, you could say three. And then you would draw a triangle here. There you go. Um, and then of course you can also still click. And then here actually with a polygon, you can choose the number of sides. So if you wanted to do five, and you can say whether you want smooth corners or if you want this to be a star. If it is, it's going to ask you how far indented do you want the sides. You can just play around with this. 50% is the um, default, so when you click OK, you'll get a five-pointed star. So just some you know, different fun things. Um, notice that I haven't changed my color or my stroke. So every time I do this, I continue to get that pink interior with the white stroke. If I want to get rid of that, I just need to change either one of those presets up on my options bar. And the last thing here is that you can use a line. The line tool simply all that is is a stroke. So when you do that, you can draw these lines, but I mean I hardly ever do just cuz I I don't think that they do much. Um if I need to make like stripes or something, I usually will use a very skinny um, rectangle just because I think it has um, more depth than just the standard line tool. Um, and then our last thing is the custom shape tool. So if you click and hold down, the custom shape tool kind of looks like a blob. Um, and what happens is, I'm actually going to change my stroke down to zero here because I don't want it on for these. Um, your shapes are actually over on your options bar. They are right here, um, the little drop down menu. Now I have added all of my shapes um, to this. So these are all the presets that Photoshop has. You will again, just like our pattern stamp tool, what I would do is I would just go down to all and then click append. And what will happen is you'll get all of these shapes in here. So you can see that there are a variety of them. Um, some of them might be a little like cheesy. You probably wouldn't want to use. Let's see if I can find one that's kind of like, um, is that necessary? Probably I'm not sure that you'd ever use the tools, but maybe you would. I'm not sure. Um, but when you click and drag, you'll see that you make some tools. So you could do that. Um, but I was going to say some of the popular ones that people use for custom shape tools are like the blowouts. So um, let's see, like one of these as an option, and then they might put extra text in there. So they do something like that, and then they grab their type tool, and they can put type in here. Like, let's say, um, oops, I typed wrong, color day or something like that. And obviously, my text is really big right now to be able to fit in my shape. But I could do some maneuvering here and get it to fit just fine. So, um, that's one that one thing that you can do um, with a custom shape. I'll go back and grab a different one here. Maybe pick a better one for you to be able to see. Um, let's choose. Here's a cool call out. So we drag like this. And you can say something like, um, seniors wear black on color day, or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be the exact same, but, and then you just want to make it fit however we can make that happen. Do, do, do. There we go. 
So then you have your text and your shape together. Um, you just have to be careful. Like I said, um, currently we have this text layer and we have our shape layer. If you wanted them to stay together, you could just right click and merge them. And now you have all of that together so you can move that around kind of nifty. So those are our different shape tools. There's lots of them. Um, my best suggestion for you is just to play around until you find the ones that you like um, and then go from there. Um, go ahead and leave, oops, go ahead and leave this document open because we're going to continue to work on it um, as we progress through this lesson. Um, if we're getting to the point where we're going to run out of room or run out of time in the hour, um, just go ahead and do a file save and put it in your lessons folder on the shared drive.